The first Sanibel Community Fair was held on the porch of the Matthews House, now the Island Inn, in 1912 and was a miniature county fair with baked goods, fancy needlework, and homemade gifts offered for sale by the ladies of Sanibel to help the community. A few years later, Hallie Matthews invited her guests to show their self-collected shells in the parlor and porch of the inn, and the Sanibel Shell Fair was started. Displayed shells had so much appeal that the next year, the Shell Fair was held on the porch of the Sisters Inn, later called Casa Ibel Hotel. Every year, more shell displays were added and people began to arrive by ferry from Fort Myers to see them. Thomas Edison and Henry Ford were among the more distinguished visitors at the early shell fairs. Because the shell fair had grown in size and popularity, the men of Sanibel got together and built the existing community house in 1927 to hold the now annual event. The main hall of the community house was always decorated with shells and sea life just for people to show their beautiful collections of Sanibel shells. The March 1936 issue of the Islander newspaper reported that the Sanibel Shell Fair made a profit of $150 and that was used for making repairs on the community house. This was the first time that the Shell Fair ran over a three-day period and all the booths were sold out well in advance. The ladies just weren't prepared for all the publicity they received from newspapers all over Florida. In the 1937 Islander, the Shell Show was again reported to be most successful. An estimated 1,000 people saw the show. One of the organizers said, quote, we couldn't count all of them. The Sanibel Shell Fair kept running, even through the Depression years, thanks in part to Dr. Louise Perry, a longtime winter resident of Sanibel and a distinguished malacologist. She helped keep the shell fair running while so many other Florida shell shows had to close down. In 1941, when war clouds were gathering over America, the Sanibel Shell Fair was postponed for several years. After the 1944 hurricane that did so much damage to the entire island, including the community house, many records were lost and a new charter was formed allowing for a competition show. The first ribbons were thought to be exclusively for children, but this is not known for certain. Later, ribbons were awarded for Sanibel and Captiva shells and were judged mostly for their beauty. In 1961, the Sanibel Captiva Shell Club was formed with 27 members. That same year, the Shell Fair Committee of the Sanibel Civic Association asked our new club to work out a set of rules and classes for the exhibits for the next fair. There were 67 scientific exhibits that year, and by the 1963 Sanibel Shell Fair, that number doubled to 140 scientific exhibits and two judges. By the 1960s, collecting live mollusks to kill for their shells was coming under scrutiny. The Shell Club created posters to educate the public against wholesale live shelling, one with this catchy phrase, take all the dead shells you can carry, but leave the live ones to marry. In January of 1962, the first shell count was held. On one specific morning, you could shell anywhere on either island and then bring your findings to a hot coffee and donuts location to record what you found. 70 men and women braved the chill of early morning to bring in 128 species. Every Genonia found on our beaches was supposed to be registered with the Shell Club. Today, the annual Sanibel Shell Festival is a combination of outdoor shell fair hosted by Sanibel Community House and shell crafters with shells and shell craft sales, food, and a raffle. And inside the community house, the shell show is hosted by the Sanibel Captiva Shell Club with judged scientific and artistic exhibits. Always held the first Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in March, the Sanibel Shell Show is an international event touted as being the longest running and most prestigious shell show in the USA. Watch our sister video on an overview of the Sanibel Shell Show and Festival for a glimpse of a normal shell show from recent years, because the 2021 Shell Show was anything but normal. Instead of canceling the 2021 Sanibel Shell Show altogether due to the COVID-19 pandemic that caused all large gatherings to be canceled, the Shell Club decided to hold a virtual show on our club's YouTube channel. Videos on Shell Art, 
science, mollusk research, fun DIY shell projects, museums, and so much more. The membership and public response to our shell photo contest, Sanibel Stoop, and your favorite shell slideshows resulted in 424 photo submissions from 15 countries around the world. And thanks to 50 plus generous sponsors, our 2021 Educational and Research Grants program will continue through these difficult times. As of March 2021, our Shell Club has approximately 400 members and we're still growing. Visit our website, SantaBellShellClub.com to join our fun group and get involved with the Sanibel Shell Show yourself.